Chess gang, what up? Welcome back. Okay, we are playing as black today. In case you didn't notice. <laughs> Nothing like a good obvious fact to start the day. Okay, we're just gonna play C65. Standard response to E4. He takes, we take. Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward so far. What is it gonna be? I like when the opponent does this, it makes it easier to get the knight out. Yeah, usually like knight f6, bishop f5. It's like the way to go here. Almost turns into like a reverse London. Kind of for black, I guess. I don't know. Standard stuff so far. Opponent's thinking pretty hard about this one. Okay. I'll just pre-move these two moves. If he wants to trade off his light score bishop, so be it. Sometimes I wonder if it's better to block in with the bishop here. I'll just pre-move this. I won't even think twice about it. Yeah, I like trading off the knight for the light square bishop here. It uh, basically, I think it makes the pawn structure better. Interesting. Well, knight f6 probably seems like the next logical move. I haven't seen anyone play queen h5 against this. <clears throat> it's a bit different. <clears throat> I wonder if he's going to play like queen f3 or something. Okay. Oh, it's pinned. Sneaky. Sneaky. Very sneaky move. I don't know if that's a good move. Is that a good move? <laughs> we got. Two attackers on the pawn. I have two defenders. I mean, I can reinforce this pawn. I don't think I need to. Hmm. Is this like some sneak trap or something? Yeah, this is all very unique to me. I'm kind of tempted to try to push his light square bishop out. I mean, what can he really do? He can't take, so I can just trade off. Mm, he can't really pressure the king at all. Hmm. I'm more tempted to either reinforce the pawn or just try to attack the bishop. I think attacking the bishop is the better play. He's, I think he's going to lose his bishop once we play b5. Assuming he runs back this way to a4 to maintain the pin. Really? Hmm. Let me just see if there's like any better ideas here. Well, we can't give up this pawn, so. Really interesting idea of putting the queen here. 
Um, yeah, I can always attack it. I think, honestly, I'm just going to play normal. I don't think it's such a big threat. I'm just going to try to get my bishop out to d6 and just go for this queen. Could always try to, like, attack this knight, too. Mm, probably not worth, but... Um, yeah, I'm just going to play normal developing moves here. He can't attack the g7 square with his queen, so... It's fine by me, I'd say. I'm going to be able to castle next move. Even if he goes something like g5, I can always just castle and then I'll be in a better spot. So, I could always offer the queen trade too. It's kind of an interesting idea, but um, I don't know. This is probably a more sound play here. I think there's no reason not to play this. The only thing that I've really done wrong here is kind of lock in my light square bishop. Maybe I should have played g4 first and just taken out this knight while I had the chance. Hmm. But he's so far behind on development, I don't know. And his bishop is not much better. So he'll probably have to push g3 at some point. Well, his queen has to move, so I think it's a matter of where it has to move. Okay. So probably castling is fine here. I can always continue to harass his queen too. He can't go to g4 to harass this piece. G4 is defended. I'm almost tempted to just push up and just try to gain space in the center. Hmm. Yeah, I mean this this C pawn has to go to C five eventually at some point, so might as well be now. Let's see, how many queen moves has he has he made? He's made one, two, three. Three queen moves. Yeah, I've done my light square bishop a bit of a disservice when I played e6. I think if I could go back and turn back the hands of time, I probably would have just played bishop g4 and just snipe this knight off the board. I think it would have forced him to try to recapture with his queen here. So he wouldn't open up the g file. Yeah, castling's probably going to be the next move, I imagine. Yeah, the opponent's playing slower than me. This uh, rarely happens. Usually it's the other way around. <laughs> Gavroch 2, you're hired. I think 
bishop b7 is probably gonna get played at some point. d7 just seems like a really bad square for the bishop, and this diagonal doesn't seem like the worst thing for the bishop. Now he needs to move his queen tact tactfully. Tactically. Could almost push this. I actually do have a fork. Hmm. I wonder if this fork is worth it. So pawn d4. If he wants to recapture, I mean, I'm just winning. There. I think pawn d4 is like a really good move. It seems too good. So boom, he can't recapture. He's going to be losing a knight. I mean, maybe I'll lose a pawn. No, I won't even lose a pawn in the process. I don't want to get too comfortable here, but... I think he should have went d3. Yeah, I'm just going to try it. It seems like a good move. It seems like it's winning a knight. Unless I'm seriously missing something, I feel like this is winning a knight. Oh. No. I was going to castle, but the move just seems too strong. I think he has to play queen d3 just to protect here. Yeah, so it's move 11 and he's made 1, 2, 3, 4. Four queen moves. So it's a bit rough. Yeah, so it looks like he's eyeing this piece here. I think it's actually a pretty good move. This actually kind of forces me. Um, Forces me to castle, but I wonder, I wonder if it's almost worth it to just take the knight for the pawn. Man, it's, a, it's an interesting idea. I could always bring my dark square bishop back, but that just seems weird. And then he just moves his knight somewhere. Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, I still want a castle, so... um, His knight's going to be forced to fall back. And then I still think I'm going to be in a better spot. I can continue to harass this queen. The thing that I have to keep in mind is that my pawn's going to be pinned after I castle. So he may have some... ideas. I'm just going to castle. I I tend to do really poorly when I have an open G file. So, yeah, it saves them a knight, but... I don't know if that was a good or bad move from him. I bet the engine is going to tell me that I should have taken there. I just, I have a feeling about that. Yeah, I need to connect my rooks. And then I kind of want to just take this knight off the board, but I think my first order of business is going to be harassing his queen even more. <laughs> yeah, he has to move his knight. If he doesn't move his knight, I'm just going to take it, but I'm pretty sure he's just going to go e2. Or back to the... Back to the back rank. That's interesting. It's hmm. interesting. Kind of want to just develop the bishop. 
But I mean, his queen is just chilling here. I think he's just going to fall back, but I think he'll just fall back to g4. I'd, I'd, I'd almost want to just get rid of this knight. I'm actually just going to do that. I think it'd be pretty strong to open up the G file. Yeah, I'm thinking if... Where can he really go? How can he protect this knight? I don't think he can use his queen to protect the knight. I think almost anywhere that he goes that can protect the like anywhere the queen goes to protect the knight, it gets taken. Hmm. You want to trade these off? That's a really interesting move, actually. I didn't see that one coming. Hmm. I don't think trading is worth here. I wonder if I could move my knights somewhere. That would cause some damage. And if we go for the trade. Yeah, I don't think the trade is worth it here. I'm just going to attack his queen. I'll probably go something like f4. Or maybe even like g3. The good thing here is that he has two of his minor pieces on the back rank, and one of them is blocked in. Okay, so he does go for this. Now this piece is still, this pawn is still pinned, so I need to keep that in mind. Um, I mean, I do have, I do have the attack here, but I feel like this is kind of a poor square. E4 seems like a bad spot for the knight at the moment. I'm tempted to try to just reinforce this. I mean, he can always just bring out his rook. Hmm. I could attack. There's definitely some ideas here. Uh, queen c7. I need to make sure I don't have any really bad moves. Yeah, see, if his dark square bishop was open, I'd be worried about the bishop coming through here. But I'm not too concerned. I think I'm just going to play queen c7. I think it's pretty good. I just need to be careful, though, because the queen's going to be undefended. Now I'm going to have an undefended knight as well. I just want to keep pressuring his queen. Yeah, the knight is technically loose here because this pawn is pinned. Or I think it's technically would be considered loose. Yeah, I think he has to bring his rook out to the E file here. I think if he put if he puts his rook out, I'll probably go knight e4. Attack the queen. And then I'm pretty sure I can just win the knight after that. So e4 is defended by the bishop here. So even if he takes, I can just take back. 
Also kind of gets the night off of the kind of bad F6 square at this point. Yeah, okay, I saw that coming, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is going to win the night. He might come in here. Where would he come in? is okay. I could always just try to kick the knight with a f6 on f6 as well. But yeah, his knight is basically pinned at this point too. Really? What am I missing here? Okay, so he's just looking for... Well, he can't really deliver a... What, what am I missing here? Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something here. What does this move do? I don't understand. I mean, it adds an attacker to the knight, but it's still going to lose a rook, isn't it? Does he have some check or something, and then I have to like move my queen or something like that? I don't know, I'm really confused by this move. Yeah, I'm really confused by the move because now I just win the pawn on h2 as well. The bad part about my position right now is that my uh, my queen and my light square bishop are more or less loose. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, so he just goes and defends h2. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But I suppose we can continue to attack this. Hmm. I'm trying to scope this pawn here. I like that the bishops are facing this way. I feel like that's going to be pretty strong. Knight g5 just seems really weak. I mean, if I can get my knight out of here, that'd be pretty sick. Mm. I'm almost tempted to just, like, offer the queen trade here. Ideas, ideas. I need to think faster here. I need to think faster. I 
I'm just going to keep making his queen dance around. Am I up a piece already? Oh, I guess I won a piece on that one. Yeah, maybe just going for just a plain queen trade at this point is not the worst thing. Continuing the pin. I can block this. And knight g5 just seems so bad. Yeah, I can't give I can't give this piece up. I just don't really like the position of the knight at this point. I don't know. <clears throat> um Yeah, it just seems too easy to seems too easy to kick. But um, I think it's okay for now. I like this because it removes the pin. And it's got plenty of defense, even if he wants to bring this bishop into the game. Yeah, so he's going to bring the bishop out. I think I'm just going to reinforce this. I'm just going to reinforce it. Only downside here is that my knight doesn't really have like anywhere to go. But if he wants to trade pieces off here, I'm fine. Yeah, see, I think this is actually really good because he really just um he weakened his king a lot. And, like, worst case scenario, I can always just fall back here. And his uh, bishop is blocked in here, so. I'm just going to fall back. I don't think there's any harm in falling back here. Yeah, now he just opened up this diagonal here. And I still have a dark square bishop, so I feel like that's going to be pretty good. It's probably worth it to start moving the rooks out. Um, I'm almost tempted to just push up here and just reinforce the center a bit. I don't think I'm obligated to take this. I think it's fine. Yeah, his pawn's going to be pretty weak. Maybe he's just trying to uh, take the pawn here. Hmm. I think he's just trying to come in this way. Hmm. I almost kind of want to like block in, let him take, recapture. Or even protect with the bishop like this and then threaten his queen if he were to take. But I think the main threat here is this trade. So. I'm just going to let him take this. It's okay. I think I'll just reinforce with the bishop. Could always come in this way as well. Seems like a bad spot for the bishop, though. Only problem I'm running into is that my pieces are very, like, um, lacking space. See, I think he's just trying to abuse the pin on g7. Uh, 
That's what I'm picking up on at least. Yeah, so I'm f hmm. oh, I do need to be careful about this actually. Oh, that was kind of a blunder. Um Actually, I do like this bishop move. If he wants to come in, I can just take with the queen or the rook. I'd probably take with the queen first, but um I think this is acceptable. I'll just recapture with the pawn here. Well, I can threaten his queen again. Oh, I could always come in this way too, but then he still he still has this move, which is going to be just really annoying. I think I'm just going to continue to threaten his queen. I want the queen to get out of here. <laughs> you see his king side's very vulnerable. And now he still has this move, which is frustrating. No, this is actually fine, because I can just trade off now. Uh, my bishop is pinned here. I have to be really careful about that. Yeah, I'm tempted to just go for a queen trade somewhere. I think this is acceptable. Or is it? Or did I blunder? Oh no, I think I kind of messed up. I think I might be losing a rook, which is going to be really bad times. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I think I messed up. I messed up. But it, it's still okay. It's still okay. I can just move the rook over. I just have to maintain pressure over here on, um, or I have to leave a defender on the g7 square. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is just offer the queen trade at this point. So this will be check, and then I'm gonna I, I I can at least take it with the knight. So I'm gonna offer the trade here. Also, he did just unpin my queen. Yeah, so if he takes, I can just take back. But I'm just gonna offer the queen trade here. This is check. I can take it. Oh, uh, but then is he just going to have mate? I think he's just going to have mate, right? Oh, now I just got forked. Oh, I just lost. Oh, that's really frustrating. Ugh. Man, that's really frustrating. 
I think I should have just moved the queen over one square and just gotten rid of this pin. Ah, uh, that's mate. Man, that's really frustrating. Man, that is really frustrating. Ah, uh, I should have taken more time to think that through. Yeah, getting rid of the defender there was a really good play. Man, how could I have avoided that? That was such a bad blunder. This is such a bad move. Man, I had such a big advantage here. Ah, man, what could I have played here? Yeah, just moving the queen. Or moving the king. Just getting rid of that pin. Yeah, I, I need to get a lot better about that. I think that's like my biggest problem is that... Um... I tend to just leave the king pinned way too much. Yeah, bummer. Being up on material too. Yeah, I really miscalculated that. That's 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 a really big bummer. I don't think there's any need to do a game review on this one. Um <laughs> It really just came down to one blunder. Ah, man. Man, what could I have really done there though? I wonder if there's anything else besides the queen move that I could have played. Uh, honestly, just le even leaving the queen here and just recapturing would have been fine. Man, I should have played like anything else. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, man. GG, he played well. He played well. He took his time. He calculated his moves. And uh, yeah, he got the best of me. So, um... Yeah, man, this really aggressive attacks on the king always get me. Even when I'm uh, up material, I always tend to do poorly against those. Um, oh, well, just something I need to get better at, I guess. Hmm. Man, I couldn't have even taken the pawn. I guess I could have pushed forward. Hmm. Cool. Well, thanks guys for watching. I wonder what would have happened if I played this move instead. Yeah, even this would have been okay. <laughs> uh, GG, man. GG. Man, what a bummer. <laughs> oh, well, better luck in the next one.